Hi, welcome back to BG Pythons. I'm going to give a bit of an update on my Weaver Pythons and my attempt at breeding them. Uh, so, uh, to cut a long story short, uh, she was gravid. Um, this lovely female Aya. And um, she laid 11 eggs, six of which were slugs. Five looks pretty healthy and pearly white, as you can see here. Uh, I had already set up the incubator using, um, I'm using a Herb Exotics um, incubator. Um, and pretty simple setup uh, using the five litre rubs with some vermiculite in, uh, with an egg crate on the top and some, uh, I can't remember, press and seal on the top as well. Now, I I had t sort of checked a couple of the eggs and saw that they had good veins, and so I didn't check them all, uh, which was probably a mistake. Uh, as a consequence, two of um, two of the, that sort of batch of five that looked okay went off relatively quickly, um, started going mouldy, um, so I removed them from the others. Uh, carried on, uh, they, they, the eggs seemed to be doing quite well. Um, they then s started to collapse a bit and then um, I had a bit of mould appear. And I was just trying to keep an eye on, on uh, the humidity and I'm not sure whether some water or something had got onto those eggs. Um, but the long story short, uh, I lost those as well. So uh, not a great first attempt at breeding these um this beautiful species um the positive bit is um i'm you know i'm learning from these this so i, I will change a, a few of the setup options and things talking to some of the um, breeders out there um getting some good pointers and i potentially have my other female gravid so I might get a, a second stab at uh, doing this, having a go. Uh, was, but it's a huge shame because this girl and, and the, the male are absolutely beautiful. And so I was, had high hopes for top quality um, babies from them. So um, we shall see. Anyway, uh, watch this space. Um, and hopefully if I get uh, a clutch from the other female, I'll have a bit of bed of luck. Anyway, I thought I'd also give you a bit of an update on the Bowdoin's pythons uh, from my last video. So I'll just go and grab one of those and see, see where we are with that. All right, so I thought I'd just give a bit of an update on uh, the Bowdoin's pythons that I've got. So, this uh, male is doing fantastically well. It's really settled in, eating well on mice and very, very inquisitive. Um, and brilliant to handle, though very active, very, very friendly, doesn't know no aggression, um, not defensive or anything like that. So it's absolutely joy to um, have and is, is becoming a bit of a family favorite, if I'm honest. Um, the female I was slightly worried about because uh, she hadn't eaten, but the good news is she has now eaten. I did go down a quail route, um, having seen uh, uh, um, other people, uh, Justin Kavelka um, and also um, uh, Chaz at Snakes and Adders. Uh, had you know used quail to get them feeding and um, literally as you can see um, took it pretty easily messed up the first time because um, whilst it wasn't a big strike it's quite a gentle approach uh, kind kind of missed um, the quail and bit herself which was like oh dear the last thing I need is <laughs> to, to have done that and then not eat um, but uh, she did, she um, gobbled it down and is now sort of just resting. Um, they, they both are quite interesting because they've got exactly the same setups. He tends to um, sort of 
gravitate a lot more to the sort of cooler end um, and she tends to be in the warmer end and in uh, the humid hide um, which is only literally uh, just got slightly damp sphagnum moss in and a bit dry so she's in in, in that sort of um, uh, in, in that sort of cage for the mo in, in that sort of setup for the moment but they are brilliant I'm <laughs> I'm really over the moon with them I can't wait to see um, um, them both grow up though I actually quite like them this colour and this size if I'm honest um, but uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe um, hit that bell button stuff um, there will be more updates on these guys as I learn a bit more about them as I'm um, uh, like all, all of the snakes I've, I've got they're all slightly different so they've all got different um, needs whether that be um, humidity or um, different temperature needs and, and so forth so even having reptiles for 30 odd years you, you you know you're always constantly learning um, I, I um, you know and learning with uh, a species like this is pretty cool so yeah you can see um, and wouldn't it be well I mean listen I'm not even breeding <laughs> with python successfully at the moment but these are another these are in a different league when it comes to breeding that's so, that's why there's so few of them available um, you know um, but that that would be the dream in a number of years to come that uh, I can get these successfully breeding so we will see anyway hope you will have uh, a nice summer um, i hope to get another video out again soon and enjoy take care